I didn't realise I was on. Yeah, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you're welcome to subscribe, share with your friends, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to talk about a UK issue today. And I'm not quite sure how many of you know that it's not everything you can do from your home. Now, we all know that we need planning permission for certain things with our houses, like if you want to put on a conservatory, you have to make sure that it's not too high so it doesn't block out the sun. You have to make sure it doesn't go out too far so it doesn't block um, the neighbours' um, enjoyment and stuff like that. Well, not enjoyment, but blocks whatever it is. It's supposed to be a certain distance and a certain height. So you need planning permission for that. But did you know that if you're selling cars from your house, you need planning permission. Um, a gentleman, um, what's his name? Um, hmm, Togley. Tully. Gagan Tully found out the hard way. Apparently, he was living in... Where was he living before? He was living in... Um, sorry, Old Basford. That comes under Nottingham. He was living there for years and he was selling cars from his driveway, no problem. Um, that's because nobody complained. Nobody said anything. He obviously got on with his neighbours. He wasn't considered a nuisance. So he was doing that for a while. What happens when you when you're doing well? You want to upgrade, don't you? You want you feel as though you want to go to a better place to live. And that's what this gentleman did. He decided to go to Red Hill, a residential um, area. And it was in Gedling, under, was under Gedling Borough Council. So he decides to up and move his business now to Red Hill. And his problems. He pays for all the front of his um, house to be paved. He gets, he gets approval for that, but of course they don't know what he wants it paved for. Next thing you know, he's got, ha he's got cars on his front of his house. Apparently he's got, he rents from the local pub. He rented some space from Sainsbury's. I don't know about the cemetery. He had cars in the cemetery. He had cars all over the place. Taking people out on test drives, people coming to look at the cars, neighbours decide, so well, this car is gone, not in our posh neighbourhood, you can't, you, t you know, you're lowering the tone, bloody cars everywhere. I mean, one thing I hate is like when you see um, houses and they've got all these cars going around. And I remember when I, when I was staying in Croydon. And this guy was selling cars on the street. Well, not well. I don't know if he was selling them from his driveway, but he definitely had them on the street and was showing people the cars. Now, does Croydon um, District Council know about that? I'm sure that wouldn't be allowed. But apparently, this guy, I don't. He registered. He obviously registered the, registered the company. It was called Reliable Cars for You. Somebody reported him. Next thing you know, he's got an enforcement order against him and he's not allowed to rent his cars on any land. He goes and says, oh, well, I was doing it for years in Nottingham. And Nottingham Council said if they had known that's what he was doing, they would have never given him planning permission. So nobody reported him. So, you know, you don't, when you're getting on well and you... Um, you're getting on well, no problem. Why up and move? That's what people do, you know. They they find that, okay, you know, I'm getting a little money. I'm doing pretty well. I think I'm going to go up the ladder. I think I'm going to go to a better place. I'm going to, you know, I, I, I've outgrown this place. I need to um, show my wealth. I need to let people know I'm doing well. Let me go to a richer area, a more residential area. And look what happened. You lose everything. He's been Now he's been made, and it never rains, but it pours. Now he's been made redundant for his job. He can't do the car business. Goodness knows if he'll be able to keep the house. What is the point? I always believe if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
And what I mean by that is if everything is going good, why change? You know, okay, so you can, you might want to expand, but you can buy your little house in Red Hill, but operate from your old property. If you can't afford to keep both properties, then you stay there until you can. So let me just read the little article now. Got something in my hand. Oh, it's gone. Hold on. Uh, let me just tell you what's happened. Okay. A man who sold cars from his home and stored vehicles in a pub car park says he feels unfairly treated after being threatened with enforcement action against his business. Now, they say he stored vehicles in the pub car park, but he actually rented that space. So that makes it look like a negative. Gagan Tully, 36, a full-time software engineer, began selling cars part-time a number of years ago when he lived in Weave Close, Old Basford, and that's in Nottingham. He said he never got into bother before. He and his family moved to a three-bedroom home in Mansfield Road, Redhill, in February. And that, of course, is the Topanaris area. But Nottingham City Council confirmed that they would not have granted permission allowing him to run the business from his driveway at the time. So nobody reported him, nobody knew, so he was getting away with it. But had they known, they wouldn't have granted him permission. So sometimes people don't realise when they're blessed. They don't realise that sometimes you're in a situation just because. Nobody reported him. He obviously got on well with his neighbours. He was in an area maybe where there was other migrants and other people doing stuff. And he wasn't a bother. You start moving to residential areas, you stick out like a sore, a sore thumb. You can't be taking whole heap of cars and leaving them here, there and everywhere in a residential area. You know, you're pushing your luck, mate. After the family moved, work took place to pave the front garden at their new house. This project was permitted and a, and a Gedlin Borough Council officer told them they would need planning permission to run the business Reliable Cars for You from the front of the house after the issue was brought up in a conversation. So he obviously raised the issue, so he knew he would need planning permission. The authority said planning permission was unlikely to be granted in such a residential area and a letter was sent in March to the property owners explaining permission was required and that if the business operated without approval, enforcement action was possible. So he was warned. But oh no, he doesn't hear. Feels he can get away with it. But he's in a different area. The council was later told in May car sales were taking place from the property. When approached, the authority said the owner agreed in writing to stop the operation from the house, so he was reported. Mr Tully said there had initially been three to four cars on the drive and explained he later rented space in the car park of Sainsbury's and ran in and a place called Arnold and a nearby store. His vehicles have been left in the pub car in the pub car park for several months. Now that's a problem. You're not even getting them turned over so that I mean you're taking up I mean I guess you're renting the space, but it doesn't look good when you've got cars just sitting in a car park. So I guess it started to become a problem. And plus, when I'm sure when he asked to rent the space, maybe they didn't even know he was selling cars. So it continues. Um, but the Borough Council clarified in a report the owners of the public car parks required the car sales business to stop operating on their land. 
but there was no guarantee this would happen or that car sales would not simply be relocated to another unauthorised site. So, yeah, I think it, could, it starts looking like you're taking liberty, doesn't it? You get more and more cars. You're using it as a bloody storage. It's not good for business. You have to think it from the, the um, eyes of the, the pub then. And the neighbour, who wants to see a house with all these bloody cars outside? I, mean, I don't know what type of cars they are. I don't know if they're old bangers. I don't know what they are. But um, anyway, don't think it matters. It's just, and he's probably got four cars, plus his own car, plus maybe a car for his wife. I'm speculating here. Just my opinion. Okay, Mr. Tully, who works for Eon Energy Company, said Gildin Borough Council had been very unfair. I don't see how they can be unfair when they already warned you and you still went ahead. I was not expecting the council to take that decision. I thought I'm not doing anything wrong, he said. How can you think you're not doing anything wrong when they blatantly told you you need planning permission? You're defying them. What, what's gone wrong here is that you thought you'd get away with it. Like he was getting away with it in Nottingham Council. Maybe Nottingham Council even told him they needed planning permission. When you're doing them things, you need some little digger digga place where, you know, you don't, you're, you're inconspicuous and nobody bloody cares. When you're running those kind of businesses, that's what you need to do. Find somewhere inconspicuous. Nobody has to know your business or nobody cares about your business. You can't be taking up big car sales business from your house to save rental or whatever it is you're doing it for, in a residential area. It doesn't make sense. He continues, I'm getting made redundant from my job at the end of next month. How, how do I earn my living for my family? My wife is not working and we have two small, small kids. I just do not feel I have been fairly treated. I'm quite stressed with the situation. I never plan to cause any problems. You're disobeying the law. That comes with problems. It's okay if you don't get caught, but when you get caught, so now he's going to get a fine on top of that, you know. And goodness knows what's going to happen about taxes. I wonder if he's been paying his taxes. I hope so, because that's another thing. He said he did not realise he needed planning permission to operate from his home. Has he got problems with communication? When he was speaking to them, did he have language problems? We don't know. But then he says um, he stopped trading from the property promptly after the authority sent him the letter telling him to see. So he obviously could read. Or he obviously knew what was going on. Since then, I did stop selling from home. I did not do any viewings or any test drives from my home, he said. But there again, he's imposing on someone else. He's not doing them from his home. But he's imposing on someone else. He's imposing on the pub. He's imposing on Arnold. He's imposing on the cemetery. People go in there to um, drop off and meet, you know, go and see their loved ones who have died and they can't get parking space because this guy's got all his cars in their car park. Can't under that. You want, you want a car park, car sales, get the proper... Um, building place or whatever they call it, a proper property, buy land or rent land and do it properly. But you see what happens when people try to cut corners. And yes, I understand, you know, when you think you've got your home, you think really and truly, I've got my home, you know, and I wonder if that's on the mortgage, probably isn't them. I be <laughs> well, I better be careful, you know, you better be careful because this can really, um, explode into something massive because a lot of homes they ask you are you conducting a, a lot of mortgages and a lot of insurance companies are you conducting a business from your home it makes such a difference number one your mortgage goes up about twice well maybe not twice but it goes up a large percentage your insurance goes up and it goes up really high so you know, he's doing business from his house to try probably to save money, but I reckon he's going to be out of pocket big time. If anybody else latches onto that, like tax or insurance, well, not insurance because he hasn't claimed,
but yeah. Um, anyway, not to not to throw too much of a negative on this. I mean, everybody's trying to hustle, but all I'm saying is, you know, if you're going to hustle, you hustle low key. You don't kind of air your dirty laundry in public. So since then, he says, I did stop selling from home. I did not do any viewings or test drives from homes. Um, Mr. Toy has advertised his used motor cars online. And after the vehicles were moved from his home, he said he met customers at various places so they could look at the cars. He said he was now looking to find alternative arrangements for his car sales business. Helen Barrington, director at Gedling Borough Council, said the resident has been storing and selling cars outside their property and has used local supermarket and pub car parks for storage without planning permission. But I wouldn't think you'd need to, um, if you're storing car park, cars in a pub or in Sainsbury's, why would you need planning permission for that? I can understand him needing it for his home. But does that mean if you're going to use a property for storing cars, you need planning permission for that as well? If you're thinking about it, peeps, you better check this out. That is why I'm saying, you know, sometimes we think we've got a home, we think we can do anything we like with it. And the next thing you know, it really depends on the neighbours. It's like you're told not to sublet. And it's fine if nobody reports you. You get you 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 know sometimes you're in a home and it's it, you know you've rent it's well it's either rented or you have a mortgage for one person. You start subletting, and it's a big hoo ha. It's against the regulation. It's against the rules. It's the same principle. It's fine if nobody reports you, but somebody can easily report you and you're you're up the duff. You're up, the, you're up the creek without a paddle. You know, you can lose a lot of, you can lose your part of the mortgage. You can lose all sorts just because you haven't obeyed the rules. So sometimes you think your house is your own house, but it's not. As long as you've got a mortgage on it, you can't do what you like. Um... Cars have also been photographed in a local cemetery car park. We have we have taken various steps to give them opportunity to stop, but they have ignored them. And as a result, the planning committee has agreed that further enforcement action should be taken. A Nottingham City Council spokesman said we would never have given permission to run a business of that kind from a driveway. A Sainsbury spokesman confirmed Mr. Tully rented a small number of spaces at Arnold's store where some spaces are available for local community to rent. And so that's it, peeps. Just be careful what you do in your house and um, wherever possible, try to do the right thing. That's all for now. Bye bye.